The Three Billy Goats Gruff Once upon a time, there lived three gruff goat brothers. Their names were Little Billy, Middy Billy, and Big Billy. While enjoying a breakfast of fresh grass, Big Billy looked across the valley and saw a beautiful meadow of grass that looked sweet and tasty. Come, brothers, let's get some sweet grass this morning, said Big Billy. As they walked to the edge of the cliff, they came across a wooden bridge. And so the two older brothers sent their baby brother, the little Billy, across the bridge first. The poor goats, however, were unaware that beneath the bridge lived a grumpy old troll. As soon as the troll heard the clip-clop of little Billy's hooves, as he walked cautiously across, he climbed up onto the bridge and said, That's far enough. How dare you cross my bridge without asking? I'm very sorry, whimpered the little goat. I didn't know this was your bridge. All I want is that beautiful sweet grass on the other side. Please may I cross the bridge? You have already paced off the bridge. I can't grant you permission now. Payment for crossing my bridge without any permission is breakfast boomed the troll. Oh, that is just perfect, said little Billy. As I said, I am on my way to have some breakfast. Now, let me pass. Now, you silly Billy Goat, you're not having breakfast. You are my breakfast. Little old me, I will fool you as a light snack. But my brother is coming across just behind me. He is bigger and much tastier than I. The troll took a moment to ponder the choice and took in the little goat's stature. He was indeed quite small. All right, be off with you, he yelled. So little Billy trotted off happily to the other side where the grass was greener and much sweeter. Shortly after, the troll heard the familiar clopping on his bridge. He pounced onto the bridge, stopping Middy Billy in his tracks. How very fortunate that I waited, said the troll. This girl is much larger indeed. That's far enough. How dare you cross my bridge without asking, bellowed the troll at Middy Billy. Your bridge? asked the goat. Yes, my bridge stumped the troll. Hmm, I must have missed the sign. Well, for whatever it is worth, do let me cross so I may join my brother on the other side. Indeed, not for what it is worth is breakfast for me. Breakfast for you, said Middy Billy. Well, I had no idea that trolls enjoy grass as much as us goats. But seeing that is what it is worth to cross this bridge. Do feel free to join us. No! Screamed the troll in frustration. Do I look like an animal? I do not eat grass, you furry beast. You will be my breakfast, for that is the payment for daring to cross my bridge. Oh dear, that won't do, said Middy Billy. It will do well enough shouted the troll. Now come here! My stomach aches and gurgles with anger. Well, if you are quite so hungry, said Middy Billy, concocting his plan, you must surely need something more than just what meat I am. Though I look larger than my little brother, I can assure you that my older brother, who is not far behind me, will most certainly be what you see if you are truly to suffer your hunger. Having had quite enough of this particular goat, the troll was more than pleased to be rid of him, especially if he had a larger brother heading this way. The troll hid under the bridge, and a moment later he heard the shuddering clopping of a goat that was no doubt enormous. 
the troll sprang up onto the bridge and bellowed. That is far enough. How dare you cross my bridge without asking. I will now eat you up. I've waited for you since meeting your skinny little brother and then your middle brother. Now my stomach will wait not a bit longer. Okay, said Big Billy. The troll was stunned for a second, expecting this goat to offer his apology. But satisfied he saw no way of escape, the troll stepped forward toward the large goat. Big Billy quietly put his head down and butted the troll with all his might. The troll, weak from hunger and stunned with shock, flew into the river below with a huge splash. Big Billy joined his brothers and feasted on the sweetest grass he could imagine. From that day on, the dear Billy Goat's gruff came to the valley whenever they wanted and lived happily ever after. <laughs>